Welcome back to CS50 Python. We're still in week zero. The lecture is about functions and variables. Week zero means problem set zero. In this video, we're going to discuss a problem set called making faces in which we will know how to convert a text to an emoji. But before we begin, we will answer very important questions about defining a function. Question number one is why we define or create a function question number two is why do we use main and the third question before we begin answering the problem set is what's the difference between using main or writing main in the end of the program and writing f name or f underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals code in code underscore underscore main underscore underscore and then we write main what's the difference we will see but before we begin let me salute you with the voice of the amazing david mill this is cs50 first question why we define or create a function i created two files one is function create and the other one is function call in function create I will define a function and in function call I will try to call this function so let's start by defining a very simple function called hello that takes no argument and inside hello I will create a variable called name which will prompt the user to enter to enter his name so name print out let's call the format keyword hello and then name let's try this out but before trying this we have to call the function which takes no argument so python of function create done by what is your name muhammad hello muhammad that works fine the reason behind defining or creating a function is that we can reuse this function later on we can share it with our friends or we can use it in other applications so if this function is fine let's try to cut it out in another application so from function create let's import this is the only function which is hello and let's test things out by printing getting started and in this case i decided to break point here everything before we start hello let's see how things are going to happen so run and debug so as we know python starts from top to bottom left to right normally it started from the top line here line two from fun create which is the file name import hello which is the function name then we need to step into to see what will be the next step here as you see nothing happened here nothing happened so let's step into that so now it started to import the function that we created let's move on to the next step ha huh. hello so nothing here then next step still nothing here next aha uh -huh. so we have been prompted by this message here even before this next line has been executed if i say my name my name will be printed out which is not what i want here so things are not going well harsh so here it's executed this one then this one which is not the order that i'm writing my application with so let's move on aha uh -huh. it went again to the function and ask me about my name let's say ahmed and it will execute the function again which is not the behavior that i want defining a function is a good thing but in that way it's not a nice thing to call the function if i write the function that way 
that's why we move on to why do we use main to avoid the function that I created being immediately executed we have to insert it inside main function so let's try out defining a main function so define main and here we're going to call main when we call main main will call the function itself so here main when I call main I have to call the function itself so hello itself and let's try things out here inside of function create so if I say Python of function create name Muhammad hello Muhammad so things are working fine if even oh wait a minute before debugging you have to have a breaking point in order to stop the program so let's debug again so inside the function create it starts calling main and then main will call hello itself then hello will be executed so if i said my name's here then i will get my name printed out then so this is what i want if we try to call hello again here the same way let's try things out so we click here and we run the debugger to be able to see the steps so normally it starts from the top line and we step into it's going to check this function it's still checking and it went to main hello name hmm looks like it's the same behavior because here we didn't get this line print out getting started and it started executing the function right away from this line so once it calls the function it starts executing the function so let's continue and here i will get this hello move on then i will get print i will print getting started so this is not the way i'm writing the code so there is something obviously wrong so when i move on when I call hello again, which is the normal way of writing a code in Python, I will get prompted again for my name, let's say Ahmed for this time, and I will be greeted as hello Ahmed, which means that this function has been executed two times instead of one time. So that's why we write main to call the function, and that's why here comes the question number three, what is the difference between calling main and if name equals main let's see the difference here if we instead of main we write if name equals equals to main then call main and we are still here so let's run the debugger again normal behavior so far let's step into it will check the function checking checking if name equals equals main and back to getting started so looks like yeah this is what i want the normal behavior of my code and my application so it started executing first this line of code and then it will execute hello prompting me for my name i'll write my name and then the function itself will get executed and done so this is the behavior that i want that's why this is the best practice to write a function in order to reuse it in other programs or in your application that being said back to the course and back to the problem set making faces in this problem set we are required to create a file called faces.py to implement a function called convert so apparently we will define a function called convert okay so that accepts a string as an input and returns that same input with any this one let's copy this string 
here so this string will be converted to this face and otherwise known as slightly smiling face this is the name of this face or this string and any string like this will be converted to a face like that all other text should be returned unchanged then in that same file implement the function called main that prompts the user for input so we have to define a function called main so this is the steps we will convert this text to this face this text to that face inside a function called convert which takes a string as an argument and here we're going to define a main function we're going to define a function called main that prompts the user for input so when we go back to the code the function prompts the user for input so we can add the input to a variable called message where we prompt the user for an input like enter your message then prompts the user for input then calls convert on that input so calls convert on that input which is message so far so good and print the results so what do you think where should we print results here or here let's try things out i think the best way to print the results is here so let's try print print what print string itself because string it will have an argument which is an input which is here the message itself as we when we call convert convert will have an argument message which will be the substitution of string so here we will print string and we need to convert the text here to that one so you feel free to change the string here you can write anything be sure to call main at the bottom of your file let's have a look at the hints so recall that input returns a string thing we know from the previous lectures record that string comes with quite a few methods an emoji is actually just a character so you can code it like string like here so that's a good information so when we want to convert this text we have to write the face as a string using a method calls so string dot replace is what so replace that string so inside code and code with also a string which is a face so method replace or the, the dot replace method takes two arguments so this is the first argument and this is the second argument so what if we have two other arguments here we have substituted this text with its happy face equivalent and we need to substitute that one with its sad face equivalent so we can add here after this bracket dot replace again and we can replace the sad face or the sad text with its equivalent here which is the sad emoji itself and then what do you think which is better to call main or to call f name equals equals main you're free you have the two options for the sake of the course we can call main directly but coding is like habit so it's a better way to call name equals equals main so if name equals equals main then in this time call main and let's try things out we will call the application faces that by your message so let's call it again python of faces done by enter your message let's try first with the happy face yeah we have happy but i feel so happy yeah call the application again i feel 
it's sad. Yep, looks like things are working. So let's go back to the program. It goodbye, hello, goodbye. So let's try both. I feel happy, and then mm -hmm. back to the application to the code space. We already created a directory in which I created the faces application. What we have to do is copy here, copy the code into the code space, clear things out, 550 to check that everything is working. Very good. So everything works fine. In that case, when everything is green, you can submit fit. You get a prompt, you write yes, and then your application or the problem set itself will be submitted. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time. See you in the next problem set.